actually in this module we continue rather we elaborate our previous talk we have said that it is language stereotyping that makes variety superior or inferior how does this process take place let's try to understand it in this module the standard variety is codified the first thing that differentiates is that standard variety is codified means that uh, its grammar is written it has literature its rules are preserved in style guides and manuals etc this is called codification and a language that is codified it is superior to that language which is not codified that has no grammar no literature no established rule one thing it serves as national lingua franca franca sorry and unity this is second point about standard variety why is it superior because it is a language of contact lingua franca actually it is name of variety of italian and this uh, name is borrowed from italian it means the language that is spoken by people whose mother languages are different that common language that contact language which they use when they talk is called lingua franca so standard language is a language of contact and it is also understood that it creates unity among diversity people who speak different languages they feel united through this language gradually this language becomes stable and unchangeable that's why we call it a standard standard is not changeable standard is always stable so it becomes standard because it is unchangeable there is no variation within it and because of this another thing is attached with it its origin or its association with some particular class and location is also erased with the passage of time as i said in some previous module that standard language is not a dialect is not a regional variety of language as standard language is attached with nation and national organization its use is thought a symbol of patriotism this is another stereotyping or reason of giving importance to standard variety then as it is stable speakers regard it rational the variety that does not change we regard it rational local variety on the other hand it is changeable it is personal it is irrational all negative qualities are usually conventionally associated with vernacular or not standard variety this is how stereotyping have standard variety is attached with knowledge no see because curriculum medium of instruction education the whole system is centered around this national variety this standard variety so we say that it is source of knowledge it is attached with knowledge they are attached with institutions so the speakers communicate views of the institutions this gives them authority the standard varieties are related with educational institutes with official government organizations it is related with parliament it is related with the courts so with institutions of power so this power gives power to the standard language itself local varieties are attached with local knowledge and local knowledge is technical and professional as we said in some previous module that local varieties are related with local jobs lo local uh, everyday uh, things 
which are closer to our life in a particular space or location. So, it is related with local knowledge. By local knowledge, we mean that professional knowledge, technical knowledge, that is knowledge of workforce. These speakers are, this is what kind of knowledge these people have. They are mechanics, they are carpenters, they are plumbers. Here, a bar sound is silent. We never pronounce it as plumber. This is plumber. They are attached with professions and have authority in daily life. Standard variety is linked with elites. They are not physical workers. Elites are not physical workers. They are landlords. They work in offices. They enjoy uh, higher posts. They, they don't uh, have any physical work. So they are very refined people. And the language they speak is also regarded as refined. Whereas local variety, this is linked with physicality, roughness, toughness of local class. So the language also becomes very rough and tough. Such opposite qualities which are attached with varieties, they are attached with class of speakers. These stereotypes are also attached with gender of speaker. So far, we have talked about stereotyping of variety with reference to class. So similarly, with class comes interaction of gender and varieties. So gender and class together interact with language variety. We conclude that dominant ideologies, the language ideology, attach working class women. This is how gender enters here. That uh, working class women, they speak vernacular. So these women take care of personal relations, emotions, and they are irrational because the variety they speak is irrational. And women of elite class, they are refined, they are well-mannered and rational. Their variety is also refined and rational. Their variety is standard. So, the variety is linked with class, class of the speaker, and especially gender of the speaker. This is the interaction between gender, class, and language variety. That is result of dominant prevailing beliefs and ideologies in a particular community.